What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to another beautiful day. I mean, a little overcast at the Safe Haven Ranch. Uh, if you can't tell, I just woke up. Maybe missed my last video. I was kind of mentioning how my llama wasn't doing so well. He got tangled up in some fence yesterday, and he was like in kind of like in a shock, a little bit lethargic. I was out here late last night with him. I also locked up the chickens last night and put a trail cam. It was the only trail cam that I could get to work out of the five or six that I had. So I'm gonna check on that trail cam, check some of the footage. Uh, Lamar is in the same place that I left him last night. Um, I don't see him walking around. It's not good. Hi guys, how you doing? How's Lamar? Hi Mona. No, 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 Lamar, Lamar, Lamar! Oh, please just be sleeping, Lamar. Please just be sleeping. Lamar. Lamar. Lamar, please be sleeping. Buddy. 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 Oh, he's, he's awake. He's... Come on, Lamar. We got to get you up, buddy. Come on. You don't look good. Lamar, please. Lamar. Come on. Oh, my God. He's not, he's not dead, but he does not look good. Lamar, what is wrong with you, buddy? Come on. Lamar. Lamar, come on, bud. Come on, let's get you up. Come on, let's get you up. Come on, you gotta stand up. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy, get you up. Let's get you up. Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, Lamar. Lamar, no. Oh God. He does not look good. Yo, I have no idea what's wrong with my mom. This is just heartbreaking. Damn it, man. Come on, Lamar, you cannot, don't die on me. Please hang in there, buddy. Come on. I don't know what to do. I don't even want to leave him right now. I was going to go and get him some, like, antibiotics in case he has some sort of infection. I don't know. I just called Tiffany. She's going to call the vet right now and try to get them out here. Like, I, oh, my God. Like, I don't, I don't want to lose him. Now, earlier I was mentioning something about him getting tangled up in a fence. Well... I just got word that he was already acting funny prior to that. So I think he was sick and he got kind of tangled up in the fence. This is this is a sickness. This has nothing to do with him getting tangled up in a fence. I 100% feel like he was already sick from this mange. He has like this mange going on. And we did treat it, had the vet out here, and we gave him, gave him ivermectin, gave him a steroid shot. I still have, I have a, you know what? I forgot about that. I have a little bit more of that steroid. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna go grab some. I just wanna give you an update. It's been, I don't know, maybe a couple hours now. Been here with Lamar. Tiffany went to Tractor Supply and got us some antibiotics. It was the only antibiotics that we can get our hands on, but it's a really good one. I gave him about seven, milligrams of that and as soon as I gave it to him he started kind of moving around a little bit his breathing changed seems like it probably did some some well also gave him a steroid injection we're still trying to communicate with the vet they were really busy they kind of guided us in this direction they yeah we did give him a probiotic um, it's you know I gave this to Rena when she was really lethargic this right here when we first got our cows we thought we were going to lose the baby and that it just she changed overnight it was crazy so i don't know we're going to monitor him i'm going to just going to pull out a chair and just kind of hang out with him all day if he improves we're here to watch him improve come on lamar you're a strong boy let's get through this let's get through this buddy we can't lose you Okay. And let me know, um, I'm up here in Crescent City right now doing the herd, so I'm, I'm a long ways from you guys, but um, let me know how things progress, and I'll give you a call uh, when I get out of here, see, see what we need to do, if we can try to say, if, if he doesn't make it, though, throughout the day, then what I would advise you guys to do is, is take him to the lab in Kissimmee for, a, for an autopsy. I can't find anything online anybody's going through the same thing. Yeah. Doctor just called us right now, and it was a good thing that we played it safe because everything that we gave him was fine. In fact, he even said to give him more. So it's a good thing. I'm gonna give him another steroid shot. That's something that's a little bit stronger that we 
have already. And then I think I was just like one ml off from the antibiotic that I gave him that we got at Tractor Supply. He said to give him eight, I gave him seven. So I was very close in our research that we did online for giving a llama of his size antibiotic. I don't want to jinx it. I mean, it seems like he is breathing a little bit better. I don't know, he's still, he's still in really rough shape. I wish I had an IV that I could give him. That's one thing they don't have at Tractor Supply. So when you become a farmer, you have to kind of be like a vet too and learn stuff, learn about medications. And I'm little by little learning. All right, bam. So Lamar is doing some little kicks here and there. Almost like he's kind of fighting or feeling better. Oh, I'm hoping so. I hope he gets up. Come on, buddy. Do you think he's breathing a little better? He's breathing a lot harder, which is good, right? And he's not, and he's shaking. He is breathing a little better. I think that medicine is helping him out. You know when I noticed that he like started kicking into it a little bit? Hmm. That probiotic. Even with the chickens, remember we would even give the chickens the probiotic and they would puff it right back up after like yeah. an attack. Should we give them some more? Let's just let it keep working. Can you pour a little water in his mouth? Or just a little bit? I don't want to drown him. No, you just... Just a little tiny bit. There you go. That's a good boy. So we got Lamar all snuggled up here, put a couple of blankets on him. He seems to be a little bit more alert, doing pretty good. Uh, been out here about like three hours or so with him, haven't left his side. He does look a little bit better, he's breathing a little bit better. His eyes are staying open a little longer. All right. Dude, wait, is he feeling better? Is he hey. feeling better or is he seizing? I don't know what he's no, doing. No, he's not seizing. Come on. He's trying to get up. Come on. Come on, buddy. He was like, F that blanket. <laughs> what was that, Lamar? Come on. I think he's actually trying to get up. Should I help him up? Yeah, you wanna try? Yeah. Man, Come he's on, good, man. Come on. That's the most energy I've ever seen yeah, him have. Yeah, he had like a burst so that was of good. it. I mean, he ripped the blankets right off. Almost want to try to keep him upright like this for a little bit. Let's see how it does. Yeah. You doing okay, buddy? Keeps doing some nice stretches, which is good. Been letting him sleep right here. He was sleeping on my shoulder. But my bucket I'm sitting on kind of collapsed. Well, I just don't want him to have his head on the mud or the dirt. So... Um, he's not very strong yet. I got this instead because I remember reading that some hay has certain mites in it. Okay. Being that he already has a skin condition. All right. You want to put that on the ground? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Look at you. You got a nice little pillow. Nice little pillow. Yeah. His head keeps going back. He's pushing his head back. Oh, he does? Yeah. I don't know if it's, like, easier for him to breathe that way or... Keeps moving pretty good. He's breathing good. I think right now he's just resting. I think he's he might be okay. I hope so. Come on. Look Lamar. at that caring for Lamar. <laughs> Get up out of here. Awesome. Hi, buddy. It's so sweet. Daisy. Hey, that Daisy. She's like 30 pounds bigger now. She eats all the time. All right, fam. So this is where we're at right now. 
we went from looking really bad to showing some improvement to now looking really bad again. Every time we go to adjust his neck, it goes back the other way, doing that little bit of a curve. We did some research. Supposedly there is a worm that if they accidentally ingest a snail or a slug, that they can get this parasite that, yes, it's also ivermectin resistant. So all the deworming medicine that I've given him, and all the other animals, it's resistant. So, I mean, you can't, honestly, you can't do anything. In it's, some cases. I, I don't think, I mean, they say that it's just, it's fatal. It goes into their spinal cord, gets into their brain, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. But this is one of the characteristics of it, of him having his neck that way. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I mean, we've given him antibiotics, we've given him steroids. We've, I, it just, he's not improving. And my vet doesn't even know what's going on. But it is something that's common amongst camelids, like alpacas and llamas, also camels. This makes me not want to get any more like <sighs> llamas or any of that. You know what's crazy too is I saw a snail stuck to the barn earlier today. Could he have thought that it was food and then maybe just picked at it? And I mean, there it's not just from eating a snail. Like the snail actually has to have that parasite on it for it to be affecting him. So, I mean, I, and it comes from white I don't know. Tail, white tail deer. I, I've like never that. seen a deer around here ever. Yeah. I mean, we have neighbors back behind us that have a bunch of cows. No, no, no. They say that like they, there could be deer somewhere, but that snail, if it got into the, the poop Feces. of it. Yeah. And then they traveled over here into the barn. So that's what they say. I, I don't know what's going on with my llama. Look how sweet Dixie is. She's in here checking on her boyfriend. Still breathing. I really hope nothing bad happens to you, Dixie. Come here, baby. He's like trying to move and stuff. I mean, this is, this is good. He's just rubbing his belly right now. Uh, literally was just kicking a second ago. Almost just trying to, almost trying to like run, but. We've been out here since, uh, it's been like 8.30 in the morning. It's already five o'clock. I only went inside to shower for 30 minutes because I felt like really itchy and came right back out here with just, just been sitting out here with him because we don't know if he's gonna go like at any second. We want to be here. We don't want to don't want him to feel like he died alone. You know, kind of breaks my heart that Macy died by herself. Also, I want to see if he improves. So that's another thing too. Now, if he does make it past 10 p.m., do give him another injection of antibiotics. And uh, I almost want to give it to him right now, but it seemed like he started improving after the antibiotics. So as we're here, just kind of hanging out with Lamar, I just happened to look up and it's just one of the most beautiful rainbows I've ever seen. Wow. See that Lamar, you're missing out, buddy. Oh wait, there's a double rainbow. What? Oh my God. There's two rainbows. Oh, I gotta get out and see this. Whoa. It connects to the other side. What <gasps> in the world? Rainbow, no, don't see that. That's what don't I Don't see that. About. Lamar, come out here and see the rainbow, buddy. I've never seen that like that before. What? Wow. Come on, Lamar, come see the rainbow, buddy. I, mean, I got to put it in ultra wide mode just to see. I mean, it's a massive rainbow. Beautiful. It is so vivid. He's doing like these, I don't know, it's almost like he's trying to catch his breath.
Come on, Lamar. You can't go on me, buddy. You can't go on me, buddy. Please don't go. Come on, no. He just started doing that. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Come on, I need you, man. You were starting to get friendly on me. Come on. Team you. Come on, buddy. He's fighting so hard right now. Man, if you gotta let go, you can let go, man. You can, you can let go. It's okay. Won't you go play with Macy? Macy's waiting for it. I'm sorry I couldn't care for you. It's not your fault, babe. It's my fault. It's nobody's fault. It's fault. No, it's not. It's really late. Lamar has miraculously pulled through a couple more hours. Doesn't look very good. I did close off the barn here because it was getting kind of cold. Um, dogs are on the other side sniffing. Mary Poppins kind of snuck in here. Hi, Mary Poppins. She looks evil. Her eyes are like glowing. It's like he's in a deep sleep, so I'm not really disturbing him a whole lot. I've given him a little bit of water here and there. I don't know. I'm hoping he pulls through. Just give him some antibiotics again. Uh, I'm hoping he, you know, I'm not gonna say I hope. He is gonna get better. Wait for her to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she like waved hello with her tail. I go put a little water in and he swallows it right away. Come on. There, see? He swallowed mm -hmm. it. That's like the fifth time. This is good, buddy. You gotta get those fluids in you. He hasn't drank all day. All right. Good boy. There, he drank it. Dang, he drank that much, almost like that much water right now. That's really good. And he swallowed it every single time. That's a good boy. Man, I'm so confused, I don't know. He's making some little sounds here and there. So we just got this blanket in a fan mail episode. If you sent us this blanket, don't think that it's, you know, we have it on Lamar because we didn't care about your gift. We actually have it on Lamar because we care about your gift. That was on my couch. It, we, we love this blanket, but that's the thing. We want Lamar to feel like he's loved. He has three blankets on him right now, actually. It was quite cold here in the barn. We're going to clean it, obviously. Hopefully, he could feel warmth, and that's what... I mean, he's not shivering anymore. He was shivering earlier. So that blanket, thank you so much. So I never really be out here this long, this late. So I don't really see how the animals sleep. I mean, I do, but not not like this. Mary Poppins sleeps with the piggies. And look at the piggies, they sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your piggy party. They sleep like belly to belly, it's so cute. All right, I'll leave y'all be. So if you made it to this part of the video, just wanted to thank you for your support. We ended up staying with Lamar. I don't even know how long, it was like eight in the morning till I believe it was 2.15 when he took his final 
breath. I know a lot of you were rooting for him to recover. I was too. I was praying a lot. I was questioning God, believe it or not. I mean, how can you not when you have so much death that just kind of follows you around? I don't know, something that I don't want to get into right now. I believe that there are answers to everything we go through in life. And maybe God allowed this to happen to kind of sacrifice Lamar because the other animals are susceptible to getting this disease, whatever he has. Maybe my llama Dixie is pregnant and we can't lose her. If we don't know what happened to Lamar, how can we cure Dixie that has a baby? How are we going to be able to save our future livestock or the livestock that we already have? They might be next. Maybe this is something that just happens to the llama. So far, I've lost two llamas over whatever this is. And I feel like it is connected to whatever my llama Macy had. I don't know yet. And we did everything. And I, I guess that's just like what I'm not understanding is just, you know, we gave him his dewormer. We were there for him. We made sure he had a, a good diet, clean hay, fresh pastures to graze on. I feel responsible. But I mean, at the same time, I, I don't know, even my vet didn't know what to do. And he was out here a couple times and he was going to come out. I told him what Lamar was doing. He was like, he's not going to make it much longer. I did think that it was pretty cool, though, that we saw that rainbow. It's like it just it stopped raining for a little bit just to show that rainbow. And that was maybe that was just God showing his favor upon the Safe Haven Ranch and Lamar, the Rainbow Bridge. One thing that happened and this was kind of off camera while Tiffany and I were just watching him just take these, I mean, he was taking these really long, like, you know, it would just be like, <gasps> and I mean, at some point he wouldn't breathe for like a few seconds and then he would take a long breath. I mean, as I, I'd almost be like breathing with him as he would take these long breaths. But Tiffany looks at him. She was like, I almost feel like he's, he's not here anymore. And maybe he already passed on and you know, just his body is just kind of taking its last breaths. And right when she said that, she was sitting in front of me. I was sitting back here. We had changed seats at one point. I saw what looked like a, I thought it was a moth at first, and it was really fast. And then she was like, oh, did you see that? This animal that was white, it was so fast, but it ran right behind me through our pasture. And the dogs were barking too. We go out there to investigate and we don't see anything. Tiffany believes that that was Lamar like crossing over and we all witnessed it. I mean, you know, Tiffany got the better view of that, but I saw it on the corner of my eye and I thought that was kind of neat. At this point, I mean, I, like I'm sad, I'm, I'm heartbroken. I can't even tell you how many times I've cried. Rather than burying Lamar or having him cremated, I, I feel like we need to find out what happened to him. So tomorrow morning, we're taking him to the Department of Agriculture Services. I forgot the exact name of it, but it's connected to the state of Florida and they do autopsies on livestock. It does cost some money and we're willing to pay it, of course, because we want to find out what happened to Lamar. And they'll be able to, based off of what we tell them, figure out what, what happened to him because I'm just at a loss. Like, I just have no idea. We did fecal samples. We did, you know, vet checkups regularly vaccines i mean it just it did everything there's something happening at my ranch that affected my llamas and i need to find out what it is so then i could take care of it rather than play the guessing game we're gonna take that drive it's like a three hour drive tomorrow it's probably gonna take up the whole day i don't know how i'm gonna get lamar in the back of my truck but we're gonna do it keep you up to date Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, for your support, for your kind comments, for your prayers. It's very much appreciated. I love you. Before I leave, though, give me a kiss.